what up gamers um i need to apologize for the video you're about to see because i recorded the footage with my sony a5100 which has a horrible horrible internal microphone and then i use the rest of the i uh, recorded the rest of the video using my phone which doesn't have the best microphone so apologies for the audio quality because it's complete trash but it'll be better next time but bear with me it's what i had to work with today so uh, enjoy the rest of the video Man, the lighting is horrible. Anyways, let's uh, let's go out for let's go out for a little little spin here. So uh, this is gonna be a pretty different video. Um, however, I did want to do something a little different to get a you know do some variety, right? Um, so what I'm doing here is doing another glory stories. Who's here? Who's here? Is anyone here? Hello? No one's here. Let's go over here. No one's here. There's my dog. Say hello to my dog. He's right over. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. He's right over there. What's up, Kodo? What's up? What's up, dude? <laughs> uh, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to get ready to work out. Um, and in order for me to work out, I need a good old helping dose of pre-workout what better way to get pre-workout than to uh fill up my water thing here let me put you guys down is that, is that better let me get my, my my little my little cup here but so i'm gonna be working out right now it's gonna be like a thousand degrees in the garage but that's okay that's okay. Um, gives me a nice, good sweat. So I gotta fill this up with pre-workout, and we'll get going here. Let's see, and the lighting. My apologies for the lighting. What the hell happened here? And so I have this baby gate right for my dog. Because you know he's a giant baby, but we're also getting it for our future child problem is um, the hallway where we have it it's uh, a little too wide and oh you guys like my my mercy poster my buddy gave that to me um, for Christmas three years ago I think it is <sighs> but now I gotta this is gonna be a very unprofessional type video so got my good old c4 ripped ripped c4 ripped so ripped um but yeah i take this stuff every time i work out so i need it for the caffeine i need it for the beta alanine and all that other good stuff and i also don't like working out with my wedding ring so I'm taking this off and I don't work out with this watch so I'm taking this off as well and I'll bring you guys along for the ride so let me put my stuff here oh shaky camera shaky camera oh I gotta turn up the light here but you guys are getting like a mini tour of my house here. <laughs> there's not there's not much going on. It's just a lot of little things going on. Well, it's going to be kind of noisy in here because I have the AC running in the house and also the AC running um, in this bedroom. But here, I me, mean, you kind of have a better idea of where where the camera's mounted. Anyways, I mounted uh, my my sticker bomb mural here. I got I got Pokemon here. I got uh, Rick and Morty. I got Pinup Girls here, and I got Super Mario down here. So the only thing I have to do is I have these letters. It's gonna spell out MX Glory, but I'm putting them all right here. So 
I have the M, this is, this is the back of it, not pretty, but it's, you know, the edges are going to be pink, front uh, is going to be blue for the M and the X, and the glory is going to be like a purple color, and it'll be mounted right here, but it'll be, it'll be in frame, so when you guys see me stream, you guys will be able to see it, I don't know where to put this, there you go. Um, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys down on my mouse pad. Ugh. And hopefully, hopefully this camera won't overheat. So the, I'm using, I'm using a Sony A50. Yep. Oh boy. Okay, so. The quality is going to absolutely not be that great, and here's why. Um, I was recording with my Sony A5100, and that camera is known. It is known for um, being kind of shitty when it comes to recording videos. And right in the middle of my uh, recording, it just shut off because of overheat. Uh, it's I, this is something I've known for a while. It's a great webcam for using as a webcam. It's amazing, but mm, not so much for not so much for you know making making footage here. So what I'm going to be doing here is I need to grab uh, I need to grab the video footage from. Uh, from the stuff that I have. Oh, here we go. There we go. So, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'll copy that. I'll copy that there. So, I, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm copying the footage that I recorded earlier from my Sony A5100 onto my desktop, and I'm using my cell phone to record the rest of this video. Um, it's not going to be the best quality. I much prefer the quality of the A5100, but because it overheats when it's on battery. Um, it's not so good for videos. It's great for camp, you know, pictures and stuff, but for, uh, for video footage, not so great. So, I do need, I, I'm in the market for a camera that is good for, um, for video. I'm thinking about getting the Sony A6100, which is the, it came out, I believe, last August or November ish, I believe. But it basically it's the exact same as the A5100, but it records in 4K 30 FPS. Um, the only thing is that I don't know if it has the same overheat issues. Uh, I have to do a lot of research. I, I am going to be getting a camera in the next month or so. Uh, it's going to be mainly uh, for like vlogging and recording stuff, but it's primarily going to be for taking pictures and video of my newborn son who's gonna be born next month. So um, that's why that's why I need a camera. This camera is great for pictures. I'm using it just for a web as a webcam, so um, it's fine. As a matter of fact, I have the uh, who I'm gonna remove the thing here. There we go. So I had to unplug the USB because I was just, uh, I'm done transferring the files. But uh, what I want to take a look here is making sure everything's good to go. Is this camera turn on now? Maybe. There it goes. <laughs> I gotta flip the camera up over here. Don't mind me. Don't mind this flattering angle. All right. There we go. Is that good? Is that good? It's good, right? Sure. Why not? Sure, why not? Okay. Well, what do I got here? What do I got here? Let me take a look at this footage. Man, this footage looks good too. It's it's super smooth. It's super clear. Even in low light, it's not that bad. Um, <laughs> even in low light, it's not that bad. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it 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 recorded for it recorded for five minutes and five seconds before the whole thing just shut down. <laughs> it's like oh no, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I just need to rename this this file here. 
Uh, let's see, it's going to go under media stuff. It's gonna go, I don't know what to, oh here we go, glory stories, raw footage. So this is gonna be, what's today, July 14th? Uh, ugh, July 14th, here it is. GS, GS1. I gotta create a new folder called July 14, 2020, baby. So, and there's that. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I wanna splice this footage from here with the footage that I got from there and kinda put it all together and create a, a whole new episode of Glory Stories. Uh, but until I do that, I'm going to finish my pre-workout. I gotta, you know, get a little workout. A workout in and everything. And uh, be good to go there. Uh, so, but you know, enough about what's been going on in the now. What's been going on lately? No one's home, okay? My dad apparently is with his mom. My mom is with uh, some ladies she's taking care of. My wife is working. I'm currently working as well. Uh, nothing, nothing important seems to be going on right now. I do have to check a couple things for work here. Uh, let's see. Uh, this person, don't care about them. If I go here, that one's fixed here. Mm. Uh, okay, so there's that. Uh, you can take the over to hats. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, nothing important. Nothing important. What I'm going to be doing, though, is I'm going to take you guys along uh, with me. Ugh. I wish this I wish this selfie arm kind of extended a little more. But it's okay. It's okay. The lighting is definitely not going to be that great with this camera. It kind of blows out where the white is and super the white balance is got atrocious on this uh, pixel uh, I have a pixel 3 that I use for pictures and stuff for video it doesn't really take very good video but that's okay it's different it's a uh, it's not necessarily unique but you know it's it's what I got to work with until I get a better camera that I can use for video recording my laundry room. <laughs> Nothing special. I gotta head out to the garage where it's a thousand freaking degrees in here to record, or not to record, to uh, work out. Oh, it's so freaking bright. But I'm gonna leave that off and this off. Oh, and my motorcycle. Say hello. Hello. Oh, and I also sticker bombed. I sticker bombed uh, the whole front of this uh, this wind windshield protector thing with the Rick and Morty stickers. Same thing that I did upstairs with the little mural that I made. But I like it. It's pretty cool. <sighs> Let me set you guys. I got drywall here. I don't know where to put you guys because this is the better angle. But I have a table right here. But with the light showing there it's not gonna look too well too good so i don't know where to put you guys uh, uh i don't know whatever well let me just hold on to you i'll just I'll, I'll sit here in the heat and finish my pre-workout and i'll just talk to you guys so um my wife has been very, very nervous about our first child, and so am I. She's showing it more than I am. I'm ready. Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, it's it's a month away, but a little over, you know, month, month and a half away. It's already, what, the 12th, 13th right now, 14th? Due date is August 28th, so it's coming pretty close. But uh, I already filled out my paternity leave for work. I already have that all on, on file and record. If the date changes, I need to call them back and let them know. Like, hey, I'm going to be taking these days instead. Uh, but I'm going to be taking four weeks 
I'm gonna be taking four weeks off for uh, for my pat leave, and I get uh, I get six paid, and then I get six unpaid. I get twelve weeks total. So um, I'm taking four right off the bat, and then I'm gonna be taking the other two uh, in one week increments sometime in the future, maybe during the holidays or something. I'll use that as like my vacation rather than using my vacation. I don't want to use my vacation this year. Um, and then I'll probably take the the bonding time, which is my unpaid my unpaid uh, pat leave sometime next year, maybe I don't know, during uh, maybe during other holidays or something. We'll see. We'll see what we've got got going on. Hey, there's a trash man. Uh, other than that, I got nothing going on right now. Um, just working, streaming, taking care of business here and there. Um, I'm I'm talking right now to a loan officer who is taking a look, taking a look at our finances to see if we're able to afford a house, and hopefully, my wife my my wife believes that we are. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't think we I don't think we make enough money to to, to be able to own a house, but. Uh, you know, we gave everything, you know, tax returns, pay stubs, uh, bank statements, all sorts of random crap over to the loan officer. So they'll be able to determine what we can afford and what we can't afford. Um, there's just a couple of requirements that, re that we want and we need. Um, my wife and I don't want to pay homeowners, homeowners association fees, um, you know, the HOA stuff. Uh, I do require fiber internet. Never had fiber internet. I want fiber internet. Wherever I move, I need to have fiber internet. That's like a one thing that I need to have. Um, and a garage. Um, I have my motorcycle in my garage right now. And I can't have it out sitting in the sidewalk. I can't have it sitting on the street or in a, in a car park or nothing. Dude. It needs to be in a garage where it's safe and not going to get stolen. So that's, uh, that's what I require. Other than that, I mean, one story, it's cheaper. We don't want to live in a two-story house. We live in a two-story house now, and it's it's meh. It's not that great. Um, other than that, it's just kind of a waiting game. We don't know how long this is all going to take, or the whole process or anything, but uh, I ended up emailing the loan officer and her assistant um everything i believe to you know yesterday there was there was two things that uh, that we forgot but i emailed her everything yesterday so she should let me know sometime this week or the end of the week uh what we can do from there and if we're even i the only thing is that i want to know if we're able to afford a house that's it now, if we're able to afford a house, depending on the expenses of how much, you know, what what our budget is, we may go forward with it, um, you know, depending, depending on how things work out. And if the thing is that if I move out of this house, because right now the house that I live in is is my parents, uh, my mom and dad are the pri are the primary owners. Um, my dad has spoken to me about putting my name as a co-owner of the house because he's preparing you know when he dies and stuff you know he's he's already making his ordeals about you know passing away and stuff so he he wants this house to be mine however this house is very expensive it's in a very good neighborhood it's a two-story house the house is enormous for for the four of us and it, it's it's very expensive and if he passes away we won't be able to afford um, me, you know, I won't be able to afford living here. My wife and I, maybe if we put, you know, our money together, we can afford living here. I honestly, I don't, I wouldn't want to live here. I don't want to live here. I, I, I don't know. While the neighborhood's fine, it's next to a park. It's in the middle of town. Uh, you know, it's, it's great for like raising kids and family and stuff. I just don't like living in this house. And I've been living in this house since 2007, I believe. And it's it's time. It it's an older house. It doesn't have the best wiring. There's a lot of stuff that needs to change. The windows need to be replaced. The paint on the exterior is like falling apart. Uh, it's still a nice house. It's just too expensive for the upkeep and, and, and you know mortgage and all that. So uh, I I know for sure that if my wife and I were to move out of here, 
uh, my dad is going to end up wanting to sell the house because there's no reason for him and my mom to live in this giant house. Just them two. They'll probably sell it and uh, get a smaller place. But the money that apparently that they would get would be split between me and my sister. Um, my sister's got her own thing going on. She's nine years older than I am. She's already have a family. She lives up, she lives up north, uh, Northern California. Um, but you know, it's 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 one of those things where. Uh, my, my dad's told me that, you know, if you ever move out, I'll probably just get rid of the house because there's no reason for me to keep it. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. So if we do go forward with this home loan thing and the loan officer and they do give us good news and we're able to afford a house, we just need to double check our expenses and we'll get what we can afford and, and kind of move from there. Um, I'm pretty excited, uh, nervous, um, but exciting. Uh, just because I've been wanting to move out for a long time, but living in Southern California, it's it's not viable. I'm not one of those people who who lives out in you know, you know, freaking Chatsworth or or you know Van Nuys or whatever, where it's where I'm paying an arm and a leg for a studio apartment. I'm not gonna be one of those guys. No, it, it's I I like to live well. Right now, I'm taking advantage of not being not you know not paying rent and, and being fortunate enough to be able to you know, take advantage of that. Um, but it is time to kind of see what my options are, and I'm doing that right now. So, you know, it takes time. Um, is it scary? Yeah, sure. I don't want to go broke. <laughs> I want to go bankrupt. No one wants to go bankrupt, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, I'm, I'm sure my wife and I will be fine. Hey, the mailman's coming. I'm sure my wife and I will be fine, so we'll, we'll see what we got going. Um, other than that, I got nothing too exciting going on. Um, there's, uh, I've had a couple people from my Discord join, or not from people, a couple new people from, uh, from somewhere join my Discord. One of them left last night, and the other one joined, and like 10 minutes later left today. I don't know. Last time that one, last time someone joined my Discord and didn't, and didn't, you know, select the role, uh, uh, the entire, like, I got, Spam botted, I think. It was weird. But it's fine. <laughs> Ugh. So uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ready to work out here. But anyways, guys, I'm I'm gonna finish my workout here, my pre-workout, do my thing, get some food, and I'll shower, get on stream. I stream almost every day. I didn't stream. I, you know what? I streamed yesterday, but my computer, something happened. I don't know what happened. So, okay. So, let me let me explain what happened. A couple things happened. Uh, Saturday, I believe, my I, I, Call of Duty wasn't working, okay, on, on Saturday. And didn't know what was going on. It needed a, an update, but it wouldn't update. And I don't know. But turns out... The hard I have I have three SSDs on my machine. One of them is completely empty. I'm using it as as like a backup for random documents and stuff. I don't have anything in there. One of them is my boot drive. The other one I install all my games on. The one where I had my games on had Call of Duty, and that drive was not being detected by my OS. I don't know why. I checked I checked the BIOS, um, and it was detected. I reloaded. I, I restarted. It wasn't detected again. I restarted a third time, and then it shows up. I'm like, that's weird. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that drive is not failing. It's one of the, it's one of Micro Center's like store brand SSDs. Um, probably should have got like a Samsung or something, but SSDs right now are so expensive. So I'm gonna have to hopefully not get a replacement, but I'm hoping it's just kind of a hiccup that happened the one time. Um, the other thing that happened is when I streamed yesterday, I was playing Call of Duty, my game froze twice. Um, my game froze the my game froze the first time when I wasn't streaming. The second time it froze while I was streaming. I actually had to do a hard reboot. Had to hit that reset button to get my computer going. And then when I was playing again, Chrome just crashed. I wasn't even using Chrome. I just had tabs open, and it just completely froze, and it went white, and it I couldn't even close it. I couldn't even open Task Manager. Task Manager was frozen. I couldn't end any task. I was like, what the hell is going on? And it turns out, yesterday morning, I installed a Windows 10 uh, 2004 feature update. 
in 2004 is it's 2004 so 20 is the year of the update uh, uh you know the year of when the update comes out 04 is when it's supposed to come out which is april um uh, but didn't come out until about a month ago my computer just got it i was able to download and install it yesterday morning so i did and it totally hosed my computer but chrome was freezing task manager was freezing i play any game and it was freezing i had to like it would just halt my computer i don't know what's going on and even browsing like when the browser was working i would go to different websites and it would it would freeze like it would take so long to load i felt like my internet was going out but it wasn't and so i ended up going uh to the windows 10 for uh subreddit a forum the subreddit and it turns out other people were having similar issues like chrome was loading really slow a lot some of the games weren't working that people were playing so what i ended up doing is i had uh so if you don't know if you install a feature update in windows you have 10 days to roll back to the previous version if you don't like it and since i installed it yesterday morning i rolled back to version 1909 which came out last year september and I, you know, I have all the re recent patches for that. And it was working fine. I restarted my computer. Just like before, before with the 2004 update, uh, Discord would take about five minutes to load. It was checking for updates for like five minutes and then it would take a super long time to load. But after I rolled back to 1909, I rebooted my computer again. Discord launched instantly. Chrome launched instantly. I was able to load websites, no issues. I haven't played any games yet. But everything was working fine, like no freezing. I even used my computer up, uh, a little bit ago, no freezing whatsoever. Um, so I think it's the I think it's that feature update that kind of messed up my computer. And apparently, there's some issue with some SSD trimming that if you go to the trimming the trim settings, because uh, I have uh, I, be, I believe by default Windows trims SSDs weekly. And when I went to the trim settings, it said that it was never trimmed. Like when you, I, after I installed the, the 2004 feature update, it said that the trimming never happened. It's like last trim, it says never. I'm like, what the hell? When I rolled back to 1909, I went back to the trim setting. It had like July 10th as the, like the, latest, the, the latest trim date on all my SSDs. So I know trim's working. Um, but I read somewhere on the subreddit that there was some SSD issues with the new update So I'm gonna avoid the update for a while and, and hopefully they get all the bugs figured out um, But yeah, I'll, I'll be testing that out after uh, after my workout But anyways guys um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drink the last little bit of pre-workout. I got going on. I'm gonna lift shower and stream and i hope to catch you guys on the next video if you like these type of stories this is a very different so i'm doing very different uh videos i had one where i was sitting in front of my streaming setup kind of doing like a talking thing i had one of me riding my motorcycle me doing the same thing i got one of me holding this uh this selfie stick thing with a camera on there so if you guys like this type of thing be sure to like comment below subscribe it really helps me out um and follow me on Twitch. Uh, I stream almost every day. Uh, I, you know, twitch.tv or twitch.tv slash mxglory. I'll have a link in the description. If you guys want to join my Discord and participate in, the in any of the, the tech talk that we do or the games that we talk about or any just random crap or memes or stuff, join the Discord. Um, when you join, you'll be bombarded with the whole welcome message. You know, just go to the very bottom, hit the little M emoji, and then it'll give you a roll so you can have the whole server unlocked. I think a lot of people kind of get overwhelmed with joining my discord just like oh my god a big wall of text and then they leave but no just read the stuff read the rules go to the bottom hit the little m and you'll be given a role so you can have the whole server unlocked for you and uh, participate in the conversations that we got um otherwise guys i will catch you on the next glory stories and you have a good day okay you have a good day sir ma'am or person peace <laughs>Oh shit, guys near me. Guys near me. Where are you in the front or back? I'm upstairs. Oh, triple! <laughs> oh, Lord! You guys okay, so suck, boys! Oh, God. <laughs>